Well, hey guys, so I got this Peter Thomas Roth cucumber gel mask as a gift in PR. I'm gonna give it a try. It has ingredients in it that I side eye, like lemon extract, which can be irritating to the skin, pineapple, that can also be irritating. How it works, allegedly, is that you're going to put it on for 10 minutes and then rinse it off onto clean skin. My face is clean. So let's give it a try. You know, Peter Thomas Roth has some good products, but they're expensive. But let's give this a try. It's like, is this going to be any more magical than just using a moisturizer? Here's what it looks like. Kind of reminds me of green jello. It suggests putting it in the refrigerator and applying it cold. It has aloe vera in it. Now aloe does have a lot of hydrating compounds in it that can help with water retention. But if you just get the straight aloe plant, you have to be careful. It can be really irritating to put that gel on your skin. It has some stuff in there that can be pretty aggravating for the skin. Um, but it does have hydrating compounds. And aloe also has something called allicin, which can actually help with hyperpigmentation. This has chamomile, which is anti-inflammatory. The papaya and the pineapple, those might mildly exfoliate the skin a bit as fruit acids, but you have to be careful, they can be irritating. It says, excellent for soothing the look of the skin after sun exposure. Peels, waxing, facials, and extractions. So when you get too much sun, if you get a sunburn, I would not recommend putting that on a sunburn because the skin's like really vulnerable when you have a sunburn. So putting a bunch of like random stuff on can actually, you know, slow down healing. The best thing for a sunburn to soothe it is to soak in like colloidal oatmeal and just put on like a really plain lightweight moisturizer. Um, to soothe the skin and help the barrier. But I would not go putting pineapple fruit extract on a sunburn. It could be a pretty aggravating. Um, but it just says after sun exposure. I'm gonna let this sit on my face for 10 minutes. I'll be right back. All right, it's been close to 10 minutes. We're back. It has dried on the skin completely. Um, it doesn't feel filmy. I was kind of expecting it to feel a little sticky, tacky. It really doesn't feel that way. I, I can kind of feel like there's something on there. So I was going over the ingredients a bit more. It has orange fruit extract in it as well. Again, another citrus extract that could be irritating. It has allantoin, which is anti-inflammatory. I think this product is kind of speaking to people who like the idea of using aloe to soothe the skin. But I don't know. To me, it's a little bit... Mm, we'll see. I'm gonna rinse it off, so I'm not gonna jump to any conclusions. It doesn't have a strong fragrance. It's more of a, a citrus scent. Pat the drips off. All right, so my skin feels pretty good, actually. I don't know, it kind of just feels like it did when we started, but you know, I don't have any irritation or itch. It does feel kind of nice, I'll be honest, going on the skin, but is it the like most magical thing? No. I mean, it feels actually similar to just putting like a gel moisturizer on, only now you're stuck sitting here for 10 minutes, which, I mean, who has time for that? I mean, obviously I did just now. <laughs> you're stuck waiting 10 minutes and then you rinse it off. So it's just kind of like, I don't know, it feels a little, feels a little touch and go. But Peter Thomas Roth does have some good products. Like they have this hydrating cloud cream that I really like, but this is a pass. Peter Thomas Roth also has these under eye patches that are gold, do not waste your money on those. They are no good. Um, they're like the worst under eye patches I have ever come across. And y'all know I enjoy doing those under eye patches. I'm gonna come on with um, some sort of moisturizing product. I'm gonna come on with the Cetaphil Healthy Renew. You guys know I'm a huge fan of those under eye patches. Like I find that they temporarily depuff the under eye and hydrate. But the Peter Thomas Roth gold ones are just really filmy. They don't really offer much hydration. Um, they kind of feel like you have stuck deli meat under your eyes, if I'm being honest. Um, not that I've ever done that, but that's sort of the effect that you get with those. They are a pass. Yeah, I was doing some organizing and decluttering in my apartment. I went on a mission. I spent about four hours cleaning, organizing, decluttering, Time just flew by. 
you know, when you get really busy, your life inside your home can just turn into like a series of junk drawers. You know what I mean? Like everything becomes everything becomes a junk drawer and you really need to rein it in, spend a day tackling it. And that is exactly what I did. All right. So I'm going to come on with the e.l.f. Woe Glow this morning. Now, while I was sitting there with that mask on, it didn't feel itchy or anything. All right, time for the Regal Pour. I'm still on the Lavazza, but y'all, I have quite the coffee haul. I have to show you in a moment. This kettle has just taken my coffee preparation to a whole, to a whole additional level in life because, yeah, if you are a coffee or a tea lover, this kettle I cannot recommend enough. So I ordered quite a few bags of my Four Sigmatic coffee that I love so much. I've been drinking this for years. Um, it's really good. It does not taste like mushrooms at all. They have a couple of other coffees. They're all really good though. <clears throat> they threw in some freebies though for my order and instant coffee. Their instant coffees are really good. Like, you know, instant coffee can be mostly miss, uh, <laughs> but theirs are really good. So they included one of those in my order and they also included the um, one of the uh, mushroom elixirs. These are really good too, to make like a tea. They don't taste like mushrooms. They just have like a nice rich, uh, almost sort of earthy flavor, but they're not bitter. Then on Amazon, I saw this Kicking Horse Coffee Grizzly Claw, because I went on there looking for Raven's Brew and it showed me this and I was like, mm, that looks pretty good. I'll give it a try. Then it's already that time, I can't believe, I went ahead and purchased a new planner for 2024. I will not open this until January 1st because I feel like it's bad luck. As a side note, this company, Paperage, I'm, I'm not sponsored by them. You can get these on Amazon. They make the best quality notebooks and they're really inexpensive and the planners are really good. Like I used to use, here are, here are a bunch of my old planners. I, I keep them. <laughs> I don't know why. I used to use the Erin Condren life planner and I loved it. But the problem with the Erin Condren one I found after a while is it had too much going on in it that I didn't need. So it just was a lot of extra paper and stuff that I didn't ever end up using. At one point I had a really nice planner in a binder too. Um, but I went to this paperage after getting a couple of their notebooks and really liking them. The thing I always liked about the Erin Condren planners was the quality of the paper. Here's my planner. You get the week on one side and then you get dot grid. And then in the back, there are just some blank pages of dot grid too. Then the front of the planner, you get the month, the little tiny months. Then you also get the monthly layouts in the front of the planner. And the back has this little handy dandy little file folder. It comes with sticker label too. If you wanted to, if you wanted to, you know, write something and stick it in there. Yeah, I am someone who really likes to use a paper planner. Let me know if you are that way or if you do like digital stuff. I can't, I can't do like the Google calendar. That, that actually gives me a, like a slight headache and I find it stresses me out. <laughs> But I'm someone who solidifies their memories by writing things down. Like, I don't know what it is about writing something down for me. It really helps me remember it. But if I type something out, that that does not, that does not solidify memories. And I'm always wondering if like, if you start typing and using computers at a much younger age, if your brain somehow forms memories stronger through like the muscle memory of typing, like that kind of muscle brain connection, but I don't know. Um, you know, I obviously learned how to type at a pretty young age, but we didn't use computers as much as we obviously do now back then. All right, guys, as promised, we're gonna be opening the first three days of the Yes Style Winter Beauty Land 
calendar. Now, if you missed yesterday's vlog or you're new here, Style Vana and Yes Style give me these Korean beauty advent calendars every year. I love opening them up throughout the month of December in the vlog. So my vlogs are always on Saturdays and Sundays and throughout the month of December, I open these up. I show you guys what they look like. It's a ton of fun. Um, and yesterday I did the first three days of Stylevana in the vlog. So today we are gonna do the first three days of the Yes Style one. Isn't she pretty? I just love this artwork on here with these cute little, what is that little raccoon? Oh, how adorable. The Winter Beauty Land. Look how elaborate this is. The design is so pretty. So up here you have a bunch of little drawers and I love how you kind of have to go around throughout the box and kind of find where things are. There's a mirror there which I think is great for testing stuff out. Then you have this drawer down here. I'm hunting around for day one. <laughs> I can't find it. Look how cute you guys. It's in its own little box. This is so adorable. Oh my gosh, they really went over the top. All right, looks like we got a Pyongyang Yule cleansing balm. It's roughly 3.4 ounces, 3.38 to be exact, of their deep clear cleansing balm. And I took it out of the box, obviously. It comes with a little scoopy doodle there in the lid. And here's what it looks like. Look forward to trying that. It has Centella Asiatica, licorice root, hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid, hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate, ceramide. Ooh, look forward to giving this a try. It does have fragrance, which is not my preference, but for a cleansing balm, I'm willing to, I'm willing to give it a go. And that is a pretty good sized amount. Here we go, day two. Ooh. All right, Lily by Red. Love, love Beam Cheek Balm, some kind of a blush. How sweet is the packaging on this blush? I really like that. A little difficult to get into. Looks like a cream blush. It's a Korean brand, never heard of it. All right, here's day three. Looks pretty substantial. All right, I'm not really sure what the heck this is, but it's definitely very interesting packaging. Um, hmm. Multi Balm More Fermented Oil. Does have fragrance in it. These type of balm sticks I think are popular in Korea. Um, they're great in a sense for like dry patches on the cheeks during cold winter weather, um, dry lips, but a lot of them do have fragrance. Now here in the US, a uh, similar type thing with similar you know, beneficial uses is the Vaseline stick. Vaseline makes a stick balm. That is a really good option. But anyway, you get, this is a pretty substantial amount of product here. I'm telling you, these calendars, they are not, they're not those, those wimpy advent calendars that you see a lot of companies do where you get like a teeny tiny little travel sample or like a little single use thing. No, this is full size products. I just love how these little boxes you can reuse this whole, can yeah, you can reuse this whole calendar with these little boxes. Same thing with that one. Um, so I think it's a really good value in the long run. I can't believe we're already through the first three days. Anyway, make sure you guys come back for the vlogs next weekend. We will do a lot more openings next weekend because we'll have a whole week that it's gone by between today and the vlog. So I'll have a lot more to open. But yeah, so far, so good with the Korean advent calendars. Ugh, let me slide her back in. Guys, I know you've been waiting with bated breath, so the time has arrived for me to fire up Tuscany's limited edition holiday peppermint candle amidst the holiday glory of my glittery snow globes, which 
I just love the way they look in the background of my videos. What do you guys think? Like, I just love seeing them. They're kind of blurred in the background and I think it just really adds a nice little comforting appeal. I finished the motif candles that I got from Aldi, not Aldi, Rondals. Um, loved those, but Tuscany does not disappoint with their ignore my junk drawer here. My life has become in my home a series of junk drawers. I just did, I just did a massive decluttering and yeah, <laughs> uh, it's it's a tragic tale to say the least. Uh, I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to improve. You know, life gets busy and drawers, they're meant to stuff things in. Anyway, um, I love this label, candy canes. As a matter of fact, I am tempted to go buy some candy canes because why not? <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I just love like starlight mints this time of year because when I was a child, there was um, this craft project that was popular at the time to do where you got a styrofoam reef from the craft store and a ton of starlight mints and you just covered the styrofoam wreath with, you, you pinned mints all over the wreath. Wreath, wreath, <laughs> I almost said reef. Um, and they were so pretty and they were easy to do. I mean, it took a while to do. Um, it was a pretty easy craft to do, like you could watch movies doing it. And it was a fun little like hostess gift to bring the wreath, the mint wreath. And then you could just pick off of it all of those mints throughout the holiday season. Um, it was a really fun craft and this just reminds me of that. Um, I have so many fond memories of that particular Christmas because I was in this little musical at my elementary school and it was so much fun. We had like rehearsal for it and everything. And I just, I, I have really fond memories of that particular Christmas and this candle label. I don't know, it just brings back that nostalgia of the peppermint wreath. <laughs> but anyway, every year Tuscany comes out with a peppermint scented candle and it's pretty much, I feel like it's the same candle every year, but it changes based on like the dyes that they use and the wax and the label, but it's always a good one. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower and I'm doing one of the Medi Heal masks that I shared with you as I tried out for the first time last weekend, uh, Sunday's vlog. I gotta say, I've been pleasantly surprised with these. So if you missed last weekend's vlog to catch you up to date, I'm not really a big sheet mask person. I don't think they make a huge difference but I am someone who from time to time does enjoy dabbling in a sheet mask. I find them relaxing. And honestly, you know, I say I don't think they make a big difference, but they, they definitely, d depending on a sheet mask, I really do think they actually can make a difference, especially if you have really dry, irritated skin, because they're basically the principle of occlusion. You know, something re really hydrating on damp skin under occlusion it can be really beneficial. Now, that being said, if the mask has ingredients that are irritating. This one's got a little bit of fragrance. It's got rose. It has stuff that is irritating. It's more likely to be irritating under occlusion. But um, I went through a phase a couple of years ago where I was doing sheet masks on the regular. I would go to like H Mart and pick them up and I would get this Meta Heal brand there a lot. And then, you know, I kind of fall off of it from time to time. And you know, I'm like, whatever, I don't have time for that. But I was curious about these because the brand I do, I, you know, I've had good success with. So far, I've been really happy. But I was thinking, you know, I was editing the vlog. Uh, when I was editing the vlog of me trying these out for you guys, uh, it got me thinking about other sheet masks that I've tried over the years. Round Lab has a really good mugwort sheet mask. And um, then there's this brand, Abib, A-B-I-B. They have this heart leaf mask that is also delightful. Um, so, you know, I've been enjoying these. I've had this on for about going on 10 minutes now because I put it on as soon as I got out of the shower while my face was still damp and then I moisturized the rest of my body with I'm doing the gold bond retinol overnight. Um, and now we're just gonna peel back the membrane and I pat it in to my neck. Just kind of let it absorb on there. You could put moisturizer on over, but I'm just gonna, gonna let it dry on there before I come in with my tretinoid, but what I was gonna tell you guys, I, um, I I do find that they're actually somewhat effective. You know, it's not like a must have, and I don't have like the best sheet masks out there, although I just named a few that I happen to like, but it's the kind of thing where how much it differs in the long run in comparison to just putting on like 
a hydrating toner like this Madagascar Centella from Skin1004, the Pro Bio Sika, or um, this vegan rice milk moisturizing toner. These are great. Like, does it make a huge difference? Eh, probably not. I mean, you do have the occlusion thing because the stuff in these masks is kind of like a toner, honestly, kind of like these hydrating essence toners. Um, so does it make a huge difference? I mean, maybe, you know, you've got it trapped on there. I find if anything, it gets it on the surface of the skin in a more even fashion, like it's a little bit easier. I mean, I find with liquids, it can be, they can be unwieldy. So I just watched uh, Stand By Me again. Have you guys seen that movie? It's, it's a good one. And the kids in the movie, they're like at that cusp of, it's like the summer before they start junior high and you know they're worried that they're going to end up going their separate ways and they kind of end up doing that you find out anyway yeah definitely watch that it was written by stephen king it's really good all right y'all i'm gonna wrap this vlog up here i hope you're having a great weekend if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye